Hey there, sign of Gemini. Okay, this is Kim. So here to give you a reading. This one is timeless. Um, I'm excited about it. It is, uh, I've only done it for Libra and then you're the second group now that I'm doing it. It's, it's really interesting. I have these little past life cards, which is my inspiration for today's reading. Um, we're going to pull a past life card, maybe three, three or four. And then we're going to pull cards from uh, the Epiphany deck, Sacred Signs and Symbols for the lessons learned in that lifetime. Then we're going to get gifts obtained in that lifetime. And then we're going to get a tarot card um, for each situation um, to further clarify, right? So it, it's a really exciting reading. And then we're going to end up, I, I thought we would be cool to do an animal oracle too for each, um, for each life. <laughs> so anyway, I'm excited. As you can see, I'm pretty excited about this reading because like it worked out so good. One, it worked out good with me um, when I did it personally on myself and then it worked out really good with Libra just now. So I'm excited. So if you have a lot of Libra in your chart, I would definitely check out their past um, past life reading because there's probably something for you in that. All right, so spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for Gemini to help them understand, to better understand and how to navigate this life uh, by comparing and looking at our past lives. So past life messages for Gemini, please, spirit, mother. Oh, okay, first thing, first thing out the bat, mother. Mother. All right, Gemini, what else do we have? Past life. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this one. I just got this deck today. Monk or nun. Sheesh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. 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 So let's get another one. Let's get another one. Gemini. I mean, I can think of so many things with monk or none, right? Whew. Um, a lot of denying the self. Uh, some gratification, possibly. Possibly. So it might be hard for you to like really thoroughly enjoy yourself because of that. Oh, that's interesting. Monk or nun. And then I have Native American. Perhaps shaman or, or some kind of um well we'll we'll pull we'll pull another card. Native American. So if you have been drawn to the Native American um culture, I, I am, I know I am, I love it. I love um, all the stories, and I feel like it's just such a gentle, um, a gentle group. I don't know. I, I love it. So there may be a tie there. Gemini, let's get something else, and then we're going to see what else we got with your past lives. Because you took something from all of these. Oh, my God. You all are the first ones that got this, even though I know I, I should. You're the only second sign. But, um galactic <laughs> you're galactic i don't know what noise that was i just made but you're galactic you're star being i didn't get that for the other one i did not get that for myself even interesting interesting okay so that is your past life energy look at that lessons and lessons and blessings blessings Lessons and blessings, lessons and blessings. All of these are lessons and blessings. All of them are, are both. Okay, so let's get, let's get the Oracle of Genetic Gifts and see what you brought with you to this lifetime from last lifetime. Oracle of Genetic Gifts, Oracle of Genetic Gifts. Mother, 
for the mother, past life for, as a mother, for that, for past life as a mother, empath. Extremely sensitive person who feels another's emotions, empath. Okay, so this is possibly as you were a mother or on your mother's side is where we have inherited this. All right. So what ability do we have for the monk or nun life? This is interesting, isn't it? This is the father's side. Oh my gosh, this is neat. I hope you all are getting additional messages, like just things that only you would understand. This says paternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, and it's inherited from the father's line, monk or nun. Monk or nun. Spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance by father's line. Okay, Native American. What do we have for Native American? Gemini. What do we have for Native American? Chakra healer. Clearing and balancing. I was thinking a healer or like a medicine person. I was getting that with that Native American. It's a, a spiritual person. The shaman, I believe, is what it's called that, that speaks to the ancestors and, and can help diagnose problems. And clear blockages. And that's great. Let's see. Okay. Just making sure that you... Let me make sure everything's still... Yeah. Okay. So you can see good. Good. Okay. So galactic. Galactic. That's kind of... I mean, it is a new deck. So maybe I'm just surprised that way. But it's neat. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. They're wanting you to look at, into your soul number. They're wanting you to look in your soul number. It's the numer numerical symbol for what your heart desires. Um, and it has to do with galactic, a galactic life outside of Earth, I think. So look up your soul number and it will give you more um, clues as to what's going on. Also, on the bottom, I have auger. A spiritual master, a seer, predictions, and visionary. All right, all right. Sacred signs and symbols. Let's let's start with that. Okay. Let's get. Um, let's start with mother. Let's start with mother. Mother. There's like a John Lennon song it's called Mother. Na, 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 na. I will stop <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm behind. All right, so for mother, what kind of lessons or blessings, which ones, either ones, did we learn from the mother energy? Caterpillar, early stage, metamorphosis, transformation. Transforming the role here or how it is in your life, how you've played this role. It, it, and it may be transforming roles. Like maybe you're the mother now and maybe that the child was your mother. You know what I'm saying? What, um, let's see. Let's go to this. Today. What else? What else do we have for the mother? Reminiscing on past precious moments. I like that. Reminiscing on past precious precious moments. That's so sweet, isn't it? Okay, that's so sweet. Now, monk or nun? Monk or nun? We'll start with the epiphany deck since I've got it out. Lurking in the shadow. We had a dark side. <laughs> Monk or nun lurking in the shadows. Maybe there was some kind of like abuse of power here. Or, uh, I don't know. There's a shadow aspect being disguised as being a monk or nun. Oh, that's interesting. 
Wow. You all have like a drama going on. Um, awaiting a union. Well, every, you know, every, um, t every time you guys deal with that shadow, it's exposed and then, and then something gets healed. So let's see here. What else with this monk or nun? What lesson or blessing? <laughs> Snake, deception, lies, wrinkled shirt, imperfections or impression. Hmm. Harsh. That was, that seems like that would probably have been a harsh, a harsh life. All right. Okay, for Native American. See, I'm liking this reading. I hope you are enjoying this reading because I am liking it. I'm thinking we're getting lots of information. Chocolate cupcake, tasty treat, something unexpected or surprise, chocolate cupcake. This may be about your extremely wonderful ability to heal the chakras. If you have that, that ability, it's passed on, you know, it's from another lifetime and you would be able to use it this lifetime. Tasty treat, unexpected surprise. Lessons or blessings. Believe in divine timing. Clearing and balancing. Believe in divine timing. And maybe it has something to do with divine timing and um, the, like, you know, the Hopi, like they're, the second timeline they have for us, other stories. You know. All right. Now... Believe in divine timing. Believe in divine timing. There's something that's a surprise. All right, galactic. Ooh, witch, spell work, black magic, and it may feel like that. Or maybe it's just you're an advanced soul. Maybe that's it instead. <laughs> All right, so for galactic, what do we have? Ooh, climbing new heights to elevate the ladder. This is helping you. These lifetimes have been helping you climb and achieve healing stones, finding balance and alignment, finding balance and alignment. Still witch on the bottom spell work, black magic. That's probably from a past life, I would say. Um, let's go ahead and get this one. I keep getting awaiting this union, awaiting this union, divine timing about something. So with galactic, what do we have for galactic? Healing from heartache, balance and alignment. There's healing, healing. So you've done a lot of healing in other lifetimes where I guess you'd be considered what starseed, starseed. Um, here to help us possibly achieve and evolve consciousness and help healing your heart chakra at the same time you know at the same time Gaia heals we heal karma is at work here <laughs> karma is at work here all right now um let me see quick Good. okay let me get um let me get Something from the tarot. Okay, we're going to get um, just a few, one card for each thing. This is the um, double major tarot deck. So there are uh, an alternative uh, example for the major arcana and the court cards. And that's the only cards that are in this deck are two cards of each. Uh, then there one is different. <laughs> I will show you. I will show you, I'll explain when we draw the cards. So, Spirit Guides, Angels, give us some messages for Gemini, something for Mother. Give us a tarot card for Mother, please. This more information for Mother. Mm. Didn't know how to show love very well. Um, couldn't handle 
emo their own emotions. Okay, always taking care of others, mothering others, but the self care was what was lacked, and and it threw you off of your throne. You got thrown off your throne. Health issues, possibly health issues. It, it, the, the issue altogether is how do you handle this uh, empath energy? How do you handle that energy? And I'm thinking that it wasn't handled very wisely. <laughs> and so now we're changing um, the way that we show ourselves self-love and the way that um, things you know work out for us. So I, I think the Queen of Cups, it could be associated with cancer. And it, it, it may be somebody developing cancer because, I'm really serious here, but because of that um, empath and not realizing they've taken on other people's things, right? So for the monk or nun, for the monk or nun, what do we have? Oh, oof, oof. Okay, this is the finally fool falls off the cliff. <laughs> All right, so something as a monk or nun had you taken a leap of faith and it didn't get you very far. I don't think it got you very far. So I think that now you may have issues trusting certain religions. Uh, you really might because I feel like you took a leap of faith and something didn't work out right here. But I don't think you're to blame for all this. Let's um, let's get another card for the full Aries energy. New beginning, ultimately. Queen of Wands, maybe in the reverse. Aries ener Aries energy again. I wonder if you have an Aries that that you are dealing with that is kind of like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, Queen of Wands is a uh, bold and daring confident, loving, sharing their gifts, but this was in the reverse. I feel like you hesitated sharing gifts and kept things inside, didn't talk about any spiritual gifts because of fear. Okay, yeah, of what the impression will be on these other people involved in this group, monk or nun, monastery or convent. All right, Native American, Native American, oh, the hangman in reverse, so it's like, okay, it's time. Oh, I like that because I have believe in divine timing, and it's absolutely, um, yeah, in reverse, so that's time. Da, da, da. Something that from your culture that you've predicted, Native American, something from the Native Americans is what is coming true or coming about right now. Virgo, interesting, interesting messages, guys. Something's about ready to happen. In this lifetime, healing last lifetimes the, because of this chakra healer, clearing and balancing. Native American, galactic. What do we have for galactic? Oh, oh goodness, goodness, goodness. Death and rebirth, death and rebirth. Um, it, it, there's a kind of like a sadness here of, of, you know, um, feeling like you need to complete something or feeling like you need to end something. Death energy, Scorpio, transformation. Don't not, not understanding why we have to die. <laughs> oh, that's the message I got. That's strange. Okay, let's get another. Let's get another um, card for Galactic. There's something that we could be tying up loose ends with. Reaching out for assistance to help us integrate what we've learned while we were in the hermit mode. And you were part of that group who were like, hey, you want to help heal this planet? 
got rid of our vices, got rid of our negative attachments or things, you know, you know what I mean when I say negative attachments, something that um, affected you in the not so great way. So let's see what animals I have here to associate with your your reading. I think um, I think we should do one for each, actually. I, I was just going to do one, but I think it would be really nice to see if there was like a, diff, you know, what different animal for each lifetime could it have been? Hermit and um, this hangman Virgo energy. Rebirth. A rebirth. Reaching out for assistance. Rebirth. Many lives. <laughs> what is the mother energy? What do I have with the mother energy? And what animal spirit oh, or cool? Know your worth. 54. Not feeling worthy enough or not, yeah, is the issue. Not giving yourself enough respect um, with the skunk spirit. So know your worth, I feel like, was the main lesson here to love thyself. Know thyself and love thyself with this mother. Know your worth. 59. I mean, wow, that was weird. <laughs> 54, which is 9. So for the monk or nun, the monk or nun life. Ooh, ooh, don't you just see a little mouse going in a convent or something? <laughs> like I so totally love these little bitty mice. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh. <laughs> 40, tend to the small things. Mouse spirit. This may help you this lifetime might have helped you with your patience in this lifetime your patience um and it also might be i i dare to say a little judginess maybe about the way that other people handle things and it might just be because of of holding in so many emotions like deprivation that's what i'm feeling like deprivation Tend to the small things. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay. Four, Aries energy too. And we have Aries energy here with the full. And with the Queen of Wands. Wow. Aries and the monk or nun are, they're connected. They're just connected. Native American. Ant spirit. Time to collaborate. Number one. <laughs> And look, he kind of has like the feathers, like a, oh, they dressed him up and it looks like a Native American. That's neat. So Ant Spirit says it's time to collaborate. It's time to take the life that you had as a Native American, as a chakra healer, and uh, put it to use because we need more healers. For sure. For sure. We need more healers. Um, galactic. 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 Galactic Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. 23. Spirit has your back. And that's because you are called to help. I'm pretty sure is that you are called to help. And because you're expanding and learning so much here. Um, and you're doing so much good for everyone. It's you. Spirit has your back. Wow. So, really cool reading. Cat Spirit is on the bottom, and it says, Claim your independence. Claim your independence. I love that cat. Very cute. Very cute. Antelope Spirit. Maybe slowing down. Life might be slowing down. No reverse. All right. Sending you love and light. Thanks, guys.